all you ninjas out there. Welcome back to DIY Net. We have a flea market bargoon to show you. Um, here it is. What this is, is a uh, manual drill press. And let me show you how it works. So what you do is um, clamp on the bottom of it and you clamp it onto your work surface. My bench is too thick for this, so that's why I put the uh, board out here just to demonstrate. And one hand you crank the uh, drill chuck and on the other hand you have a uh, another crank up here which you use to uh, force the bit down into the work. So uh, manual drill press. Now a couple problems with it. Uh, one is that the table is missing. Uh, there's supposed to be a, uh, a table that sits on this arm. So like a regular drill press, you would have a table on it to hold the work. The table that came with this had a, a flat side and then you could flip it over and there was a drill press vise on the top. So you could use one side for uh, uh, if you didn't need the, uh, the work holding and then flip it over and then that would hold it. So that we have to see if we can either reproduce it or uh, or find one. Uh, finding one might be a challenge, but uh, we'll see. The other issue with it is that the uh, hand, the handle on the uh, top wheel. Let me get you a better shot of that. handle on the top crank is missing. That's not a big deal. We can just get a, a handle and stick it in there. And the uh, I think there was supposed to be a larger handle on the uh, on the actual crank that turns it. Um, this one is just a little bit of a knob here. So I think that they uh, somehow that got lost at some point. So we'll have to replace that also. There is one uh, thing broken on it. There is a, I'm not going to be able to see this on a camera, I don't think too well. There is a crack uh, right there in the vise that uh, holds it on there. And uh, I am volunteering at the uh, Cary Furnaces um, here in Pittsburgh. And they have uh, people who do metal arts that uh, are expert welders, so I'm going to take this in uh, to take it into the next time I go there with the uh, to do my volunteering and see if one of them can weld that up. This is cast iron, so welding is a bit tricky, and I'm just starting to learn how to weld. So uh, we may, uh, I don't know if I could do a good job on that, I don't want to damage it. Uh, the other issue here is um, I'm not sure that's the correct chuck on it because you can see there's hardly any room between that and the table. Um, so either that is not the correct chuck, or the um, the column uh, was off a different uh, unit than this one. So I'm not sure. Column is just basically a, a steel rod. So um, I think we could replace that with a longer one if we had to. I'm gonna research this a little bit and uh, see what uh, what they originally looked like. That chuck does not look like a uh, original type of chuck. I think that was an afterthought. And this is, hopefully you can see it. Let's see, where's the label? There we go. This is made by a company called Miller's Falls. Uh, they used to make hand tools, carpentry tools, uh, stuff like this, some small uh, hand-driven machines. And uh, I believe they went out of business in the early 1980s, I'm not 100% sure, but um, that is the reason I picked it up. I, uh, I saw it, let me fix this a little bit. I, uh, I saw it at a flea market sitting on the table and they had 20 bucks on it. I picked it up, I thought, eh, I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks for it. I don't need it, uh, even though it's interesting. And uh, as I was walking away, the guy said, you can have it for 10. So I gave him 10 bucks. Uh, 
Not something I'm going to use, but it'll be uh, once I get it restored and cleaned up and get those uh, get a new table for it and fix those couple little things. It'll be nice to have around. I'll just kind of put it on the side of the shop and just leave it there. Might occasionally have some use for it. I don't know. So it's essentially a cordless uh, drill press. So I appreciate you watching as always. Hope you subscribe and like the video. Thanks. See you next time.